So this is the culmination of our week's range training, the individual battle shooting range moving across different terrain that you'd likely find in urban battle scenarios and after we finish that part of the shoot they get to move up the range taking firing positions after moving moving up the range and then coming back and simulating a withdrawal so it's a, an exciting shoot for the lads who've never done it before it's very tiring moving up with body armor and helmet and weapon down the range when you do get into a firing position and you're about to put rounds down you just need to make sure your breathing's on point and you're, you're calm and collected and the biggest one we always say is muzzle clearance you get so used to firing on flat easy terrain you look down the site and you pull the trigger whereas here when you've got undulating terrain and you've got concrete and wood different bits and bobs in front of you you've really got to make sure your muzzle is also on target as well as your sight we go in detail, just going down individually. There's about 10 different mounds that we go over, just so when we're in the field, like you've got bushes, everything, going over stuff, climbing up ladders and just different positions to fire against the enemy. It's really about your skills and drills on yourself. You don't rely on your muckers, your left and right, obviously you do, but when it comes down to yourself, you've got to be switched on, do what you've got to do. With stuff like this, it's more about focus, so there's like, stuff going on around you, uh, different positions to hold. So you just got to focus, make sure that you're on point, can't rely on anyone else. So going down there, shooting different positions, you can't get told what to do, you've got to do it by yourself. Our deployment to Kuwait was unfortunately cancelled. However, uh, same across the board for many different army units. What we're looking forward to now, what we've replaced that kind of blank space in the schedule with is we'll be doing a chosen man which is a rifles tradition where you find the best rifleman in the company through lots of physical training shooting obstacle courses all the things that make an infantry soldier what he is and then after that we'll build on to a section competition with all the sections of the company going up against each other to find out which is the best one so although it's unfortunate we've lost our overseas deployment we're doing all we can here in camp to deliver good training especially after such a turbulent and during such a turbulent time I'm really gutted personally. I mean, it's something I've, I've wanted to do, like just go out and do something. So we're going to do this before we go to Kuwait. Now Kuwait got cancelled, so obviously we're going to do this just to get on top of skills and drills still, and obviously from Christmas leave, and uh, keep get our fitness. We're doing fitness while it's not on the ranges, but it's good to get on the drills and fitness and that. Got to obviously be fit, just run, get up and down sort of thing. But most things like situational awareness, have a look around what's around you. Skills, drills, and fitness that's the thing you, you definitely need to know out of everything. That's your, that's your job, really. But it is very important because it's always something you, as an infantry soldier, it's something you always need to know. It's like your bread and butter, really.